Good morning, good morning, good morning, and I still can say Happy New Year. This is Dr. Hoshley here, and I decided I wanted to um, make me some, um, some good old homemade black eyed peas with the ham in it again today. And I was like, oh, I guess I need to um, make me some good cornbread. And no, not Jiffy, not Jiffy cornbread. This is good old homemade sunflower cornmeal that I'm using. So um, that's what you want to have on hand. You want your cornmeal and probably about two cups will make you a pan of good homemade cornbread. About two cups of self rising, self rising cornmeal. And I use the sunflower um, brand. Um, I have two cups of cornmeal in my bowl. And I, I don't measure a lot, y'all. I don't measure. I just pour in um, some milk. And I use the 2% milk because of my some of my health challenges. And um, stir that up. Okay? About a half a cup of milk to your own taste. And then an egg. And y'all know the price of eggs are so expensive now. So I um, add one egg one large egg to my mixture of cornmeal mix and milk and I add a little water just to mix up you know the make the consistency less stiff I add water and a lot of people and I don't know about all people some people use mayonnaise I do the real mayonnaise and again I'm not a stickler for measuring a whole lot um, of my ingredients I just Put in what I think uh, will be good. So, okay, here we go. Cornbread. Okay, that's cornmeal, milk, and water. One egg, a couple of tablespoons of mayonnaise, and just put y'all what I don't need granulated sugar. Okay, so again, I don't measure, I just sprinkle a little bit because of my diet. You know, maybe a tablespoon or whatever of sugar to my mix of corn uh, cornmeal. And you want the uh, self-rising cornmeal, milk, water, eggs, uh, a couple of tablespoons of mayo to help with the consistency. And it makes it so delicious. Look at there. How good does that look? How good does that look? And I stir it real, real well. Stir it together real good. I'm so sorry, y'all. I've, I've been had this sinus attack going on, and it's hard to hear it, make out what I'm saying. But I will go over it again. So you want the um? I thought I had it over here, but I, you want the um? Sunflower. I use sunflower cornmeal, but make make sure it's self rising cornmeal, so I don't have to add the baking powder, the baking soda, um, and uh, salt and things like that. So use the um, self-rising cornmeal, and I use sunflower brand. I use milk. I use the two percent milk because of my diet is a little bit better for me. Really, um, I'm not supposed to have that much dairy anyway. So I use the two percent. I can use the whole. You can use almond milk, uh, whatever your desire is, and then uh, water, just to add to the consistency of cornmeal. One egg. And then I use just a couple of tablespoons of granulated sugar to make it a little bit sweet. And then the real mayonnaise, uh, about two tablespoons of mayonnaise. Or it depends on the amount of cornmeal mix you, um, you have or how much, you know, you're preparing for. For me today, I just wanted a taste of, I'm sorry, I'm walking away. I just wanted a taste of um, cornbread, uh, homemade cornbread with my black eyed peas and I'll bake chicken. So you are ahead of time preparing your pan or in this case I'm making um uh, the um muffins, the cornmeal muffin, cornbread muffins. So I already prepared my pan with just lightly greased and then you just you know just pour in, you know, like so, a tablespoon or two in each slot, in each muffin space there. And it is going to be, I'm trying not to be so messy, but this is going to be so good. Or you can use, this makes enough for one pan of cornbread. You know, just a uh, small pan of cornmeal. And I'm a, I have a small family, so we don't 
And I don't eat a whole lot of cornbread when I do choose to eat it. Isn't it good? Doesn't that look good? Okay, so here we go. And I set that aside and I grab my um, paper towel so I don't make a complete mess. And I clean it up real nice like so. I set my oven to, um, to um, 375 degrees. And again, that depends on how, how much um, you have as far as making, um, preparing your cornbread. It depends on, and I, I was telling y'all about the um, sunflower cornmeal mix. This is what I use. It's the sunflower. sunflower. Um, I utilize that cornmeal mix in a self-rising white, okay? So, and it's, it used to make real good. I also use the same recipe pretty much for my homemade dressing, cornbread dressing, okay? So, if you all would like to try, does not look good? If you all would like to try Dr. Hosley's homemade cornbread muffins, um, that's the recipe, okay? All right, feel free to replay. Thank you, and have a blessed day. In the oven, these go uh, for about 20, 20, 20 minutes, okay? All right, have a blessed day, and eat good. Bye-bye. Okay, so there we have it. That is the end results of our homemade um, cornbread muffins. Yeah, don't they look pretty and delicious? It looks like, they look like cupcakes, really. So that's the end results of Dr. Hosley's homemade cornbread muffin. Enjoy yours. Bye-bye.